main mission. Main mission. Why is this still offline, by the way? I got stuck in there. Whoa! <sighs> I just want to get this game done. So I can move on to play bully. I can come back to Let's Place later. And honestly, I never really promised a 100% Let's Play. I was pretty much just at the point where I just can't really take much more. What is over here? There's three... Dude, I'm constantly getting hit. This feel like this is like nine on one right here. That's well, one down, dude. I am. You are. Bruce Festa, you are out of your freaking mind. I shot right at him. Jesus. I want to have. This is how to where I need to go. I am done. This. Maybe tomorrow, if I actually feel like going to the side missions, I'll do them. But then again, don't exactly be surprised if I end. If, if, I finished the last place tonight. Honestly, Bethesda, Bethesda, that mi that mission was garbage. All right, y you get stuck in there because apparently you get, you get you get locked in there and you're stuck, so you can't really beat that mission unless you got got master level lock, which is kind of stupid to be honest. And they just don't really. Uh... Honestly, you know what? Y'all, y'all got, y'all pretty much got plenty. Y'all got plenty of side missions for me. Side missions for me. I joined the Brotherhood and all that, and all that. But you know what? And the ra radio signals like you're not really going to know where they're at unless you get lucky. And the thing is that with the side missions is you, like, oh, are you, oh, you did this? Oh, that's good, but. But now you got now you gotta go out and get this. This item. Whatever. It's just it kinda of becomes I mean the game's good and all that, but I just wish there was like a little more story there was a little more story more story to that. And this oh do this. 
Oh, now do that. Do this. Now do that. Do that. Not really. Not really. Not really much of a story when it comes to the side missions. Because at least in Fallout 3. 3, yeah, there was a lot of side missions, but. At least it was like more of a story. Like, I, like I think you had to. I think there's like this girl named Lucy. You gotta try to find her bro brother and, and all that. Good game now, but honestly, don't be surprised if I just eventually just go ahead and just come back to this game, just do side missions off screen, and just and yeah, this will just be a let's play. Oh my god, let's do right away and right X. Oh my god. No! Okay. You lose half your health from all that. Are you out of your mind? Let me missile. Move my missile launcher. Dude, these things are crazy. Oh my god, are you out of your mind? Yeah, let's just get two death claws. That's that's fair. How did that miss? Oh, I'm dead. That was not my fault, dude. Okay, you know what? First off, I'm gonna go back and get that power armor. First off, I'm gonna go back and get that power armor because that is ridiculous. Are you serious? You. Uh, This is annoying. All right, this is an that was just annoying. Not hard, annoying. Cause you actually had just annoying. Cause you actually have to die. Try on error. You got to notice. How was I supposed to notice two death claws at once? Are you out of your mind, Bethesda? I found literally found two death claws. And you know, one of what sucks in this game, you can't cripple limbs to slow them down or anything like that. You can't do that like in Fallout 3. Are you Fallout 3? That's kind of stupid. All right, that that gives you that actually helps you get like get like a little more strategy when it comes to taking down enemies. You don't get that in this game. Honestly, I'm just ready to finish this game. I'm just no, no, no. And if I do, I hope that maybe I can start on Bully tomorrow. Oh my god, oh my god. Like how, like this is not even fun anymore. Give me the freaking power armor. Now I'm gonna go to Diamond City. Diamond City Market, there we go. I'm gonna go to this Diamond City Market, buy some five millimeter ammo, bring out the minigun, and just use and take out, 
take out both of them. Death. What? Well, well, assuming if I ever run into them again. Two death claws in one area. Are you out of your mind? Oh, I got a power arm. I have four fusion cores. said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with a nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Uh, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things, things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight, I'd gone from the Piper friend and confidant to Piper the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Bloom. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. <laughs> Romance is triangle, but I'm... I feel the same way. There's no one I'd rather have watching my back. And I'll be there for you. As long as you'll have me. Now, come on. Let's hit the road. Don't let the stress of life kill you. Relax, 
Achievement, lovable. There's a robot here. You know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders, but I got a lot of options here. I've got a few minutes to browse. Feel free to test the grips. Five millimeter rounds. I need that. Get back into my power armor and let's go ahead and head back out. Is the Institute spying on your home? Read the public. Spy hey, mister, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Um, thanks? Let's head there, and hopefully this, hopefully this time I won't run into into two, yeah, two. Two death claws, two of them. Are you kidding me? Not, not even ran into that swan. Uh, well, actually, technically, well, technically I ran into two, but I just ran away from one of them. Oh, Jesus. Where you at? No way, that did no damage. Oops. No, I'm out of here. See y'all later. I accidentally killed a scuffed settler. <laughs> 